Greeting Boise Elliott Humboldt. Today we're going to focus in on the empathy tool. And when we practice and use our empathy tool, you're going to be able to build skills in saying things like, I understand how I am feeling. I understand how others are feeling. I can put a hold on to um, my impulses to react quickly in a situation with others. I can say what I'm feeling and I can listen to hear what others are uh, feeling and saying. And I can act with compassion, understanding and care uh, based on how someone else might be feeling. And these are all important skills. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. The empathy tool is represented by the level and the level reminds us that with empathy, we learn to balance other people's needs, emotions and situations with our own. So again, this is a level and what we're doing is we're trying to find that balance. If you go too far on one side, the bubble moves too far. It doesn't stay in the middle. So you want to find that balance. All right, just like that. And the tagline for empathy is, I care for myself, I care for others. Why don't you say it with me? I care for myself, I care for others. And the hand gesture that we use is just balancing that imaginary level. So say the tagline and do the gesture. I care for myself, I care for others. And this ties into our core value of community where we all belong because we're caring for ourselves and we're caring for others. But what, what does empathy mean? What does it mean to you? Essentially, empathy includes maybe three main things. Um, it's noticing how another person is feeling. So paying attention to what someone else is feeling, being able to understand what that must be like for them, trying to get a good sense of what that feels like, what that their experience is. And then based on that better understanding, we show care for that person given their situation and their feelings. Um, we can also turn empathy inwards into ourselves by noticing how we feel, having an understanding for oneself, and then um, saying to yourself, I deserve and can give care for myself. That's, that's really what we're talking about with the word empathy. So let's practice that first step of noticing how another person's feeling. Let's take a look at this picture. Hmm. What do you think our young boy is feeling right here? Maybe a little nervous, maybe a little um, scared. And it looks like uh, the mother is maybe showing an understanding of that and providing care, reassuring the child. Let's take another look. Hmm, there's a big emotion. What do we think the emotion is here? Looks like this child's pretty happy, excited. And, and we're seeing that and mom in this picture is maybe sharing in that feeling. Uh-oh, been doing a little bit too much work, trying to stay engaged, but maybe feeling a little bored, tired. That's okay, we feel that way. Do you ever feel that way? Yeah. Oh, and then here we've been working and maybe it looks like a proud moment. Just finished um, understanding what this book was trying to say and getting my technology to work. You guys have felt that way. All right, nice job. So what are some times that you have felt empathy for someone? Have you ever noticed or been with somebody who just got a new toy that they've been looking forward to getting and they're super excited and you feel that excitement with somebody? That's having empathy. You can see that you have that emotion and you're trying to see how that person feels in that moment. Um, there's also situations when maybe um, somebody is hurting and and you're trying to understand what's going on i feel bad that you're feeling bad 
Um, that's showing empathy and trying to understand where a person is coming from. Empathy often is also described uh, with the phrase walking in someone else's shoes. What do we think that means? Walking in somebody else's shoes. And why is that important to understanding empathy? Well, if you think about it, and if you're thinking about another person's experience, what would it have been like to walk through their lives, go through their life, which may be very different from you, so it's putting yourself into their place and thinking about all the things that might have been going on, either just that morning, maybe it was a rough morning and that's why they're feeling upset. Maybe it's been a rough year. We've been facing COVID. We've been social distancing. We've been, we've had a lot of challenges. And so putting ourselves into somebody else's shoes um, helps us better understand where that person is coming from. And empathy is really, um, important because it helps us get along with other people. It's the basis of all healthy relationships because we're able to understand others' feelings and how our actions might impact them. So whether it's with friends, family, teachers, empathy is important to our whole society because it helps us cooperate and live peacefully with others. And if we could all just use the empathy tool a little bit more, um, you know, maybe that that would help our world um, be a better place. So it really starts with each of us and starts with you. Let's take a, a little more of a closer look with an, another practice. Um, we've got two pictures here. Try putting yourself in someone else's shoes. How might each person see the same situation differently? I've got on the one hand on the left, it looks like a young girl. She's excited. She's running in, maybe gathered up some, looks like some raspberries. I don't know. Uh, but she's running in the house, super excited. Um, that's the emotion I'm seeing on her face. But it also looks like she's bringing in some, some dirt um, and tracking it in with her footsteps. And then on the right-hand side, we see maybe this is mom. And mom has been cleaning and um, trying to take care of the house. And her facial expression looks like she's a little frustrated. She's been working hard and maybe is now just seeing the extra dirt. So on the one hand, one child's feeling excited, but isn't thinking about mom and putting herself in her shoes, who's been working hard, trying to care for the house as well as for her daughter. And um, on the other hand, mom might be feeling really frustrated. I just cleaned this house, but if she puts herself in her daughter's mind and uses the empathy, maybe she can see that um, she was excited, but uh, didn't realize that she was tracking in dirt. Maybe that's where we can have a conversation about I appreciate the excitement, but let's come in, make sure that we are taking care of the house that I'm working hard to take care for. So it just is helpful for having those conversations, better understanding where each person is coming from and can be really helpful in lots of different situations. So think about putting yourself in someone else's shoe. And so that just brings us back to our core value. Why is empathy important for our core value? Uh, of community? Well, we all want to belong. So if we have a better understanding of each other, then we can care for each other better. We can see where each other is coming from and we can um, just support each other and grow as a, as a community. And that's what we want to have happen at Boise Elliott Humboldt. How do we put the empathy tool into action? Let's take a look. When when are some times when we can use the empathy tool? We use the empathy tool when someone is upset and we want to understand why and offer some help. We can use the empathy tool when we notice someone is excited and we want to share in that celebration. Again, it's all about community. Um, maybe when you are feeling mad at a friend um, who has been talking to you um, all the time and then suddenly something changes, your immediate reaction, your gut reaction might be that, oh, they're mad at me and they don't like me and uh, 
what's wrong with them? But if you pause, use the empathy tool to think about what might be going on in their minds, in their lives, in their shoes. Maybe it's not something that you did, but maybe they're going through something stressful. Maybe they're going through, um, you know, something has happened in their family. So what the empathy tool does is gives us a moment to pause, think about the other person's situation. And instead of with this friend getting upset or yelling at them for not talking to you um, for a few days, you might start the conversation and say, hey, I haven't heard from you. Is everything okay? So that you are building that bridge and keeping that connection. I bet you can think of a lot of other times when you could use empathy. And we're really looking forward to hearing and seeing um, how you can put empathy into action. So with that said, next week, we are going to be celebrating community. Um, it's going to be Community Spirit Week. And all through the week, we're going to have fun dress up days, pajama day, Marvel, Disney day, favorite team day, family day. But then we're ending on empathy day. And for empathy day, what we want you to do um, is do a little recording, do a little post, have a conversation and share that on our Flipgrid. Uh, and it might be just you showing the empathy tool and saying, this is the empathy tool. Empathy means I care for myself, I care for others, and that's it. Or you might have a conversation, do a little skit, get creative. This is our time to come together as a community, learn with each other, and I hope to see you do just that. Um, and make sure to go to Flipgrid all week long, uh, whether it's just showing a quick picture of you sporting your pajama day wear, or um, on Thursday, striking that family pose, showing that family resemblance, or ultimately on Friday, um, showing that empathy. And we grow it as a community, looking forward to it. And I want you to take care, keep practicing your toolbox, and we'll see you next time.